Welcome back to another video for Grow Rich, Grow Happy. Today, guys, we're going to talk about Aerodrome and it's waking up. As one of the uh, people in the community said this morning, I want to say it was this morning they commented on one of the videos that said Aerodrome and Velodrome are waking up. Yes, they are. And we're going to talk about a few things with uh, Aerodrome. I'm looking at the chart now. Uh, is it getting ready for the run? Is it getting ready for that next all-time high? Well, stick around. We'll find out. Uh, for those of you just stopping by for the first time, I'm Mr. Foresight. And what I uh, like to do is find token gems that you guys can get in on that can help you build wealth for the first time and, more importantly, help you keep it. Uh, so, But before we get started today, this is the first video of the day. And I'm going to start my morning off right with an affirmation. Here we go. Those of you that, uh, that would like to repeat after me, you, you're welcome to do so. If not, just hold tight. To manifest wealth, I put into action the required wisdom. Now I got that out the way. Let's talk some uh, aerodrome finance. Let's go. All right. All right. I woke up to a pleasant surprise this morning. Well, I'm not really surprised. I knew it was going to happen. But uh, I didn't think it would happen probably this weekend. And it already has. Look at this uh, aerodrome finance is uh, starting to wake up, people. But that also means so is the uh, crypto market as a whole. I love, this is what I love about uh, cryptocurrency. This is this can happen anytime, anytime, 24-7, crypto never sleeps, unlike Wall Street, which has opening and closing hours, and then, you know, they, they take weekends off and holidays. Crypto is none of that, none of that, and I love that because it's always an opportunity to make money. Okay, so we look at this. Just um, less than 24 hours ago, I, I made a video uh, talking about the, the lows of uh, crypto. And how sometimes uh, you could be looking at your portfolio and it could be dead in the water or it could just be balanced for a little while and nothing happening at all. Well, we don't have that. We don't have that uh, happening right now. And I hope, I really hope you guys didn't get antsy and sell your bags thinking nothing was going to happen. I told you it was going to happen. So let's look. Just between, just within the last 24 hours, just this last 24 hours, you, if you'd have bought in on Aerodrome Finance at a uh, dollar, well, when I made it last night, it was at a dollar 40. And look at that, it's already up to a dollar 84. When I started this video, it was it was a dollar 81. So it's already starting its pump. If, and this is what I'm talking about. And I'm really trying to show you guys, a lot of you who don't know, a lot of you new investors, how this works. Look at this. Ever since uh, March 31st, it's just been hanging around at the dollar forty mark. It bumped up a little bit. Uh, it bumped up a little bit to dollar fifty. But anyone would have put any kind of money in this around this range right here, or just even this last month, if you'd have put any kind of money into Aerodrome Finance. Uh, let me see. Let's see. We're looking at the month. Anywhere around here, if you'd have put some money in Aerodrome Finance you'd almost be up uh you've already been the one extra money just if, if you'd have even watched the video last night just the last night video and thought about okay aerodromes at a, a dollar 40 i know it ain't gonna uh stay that low long you'd have got in you'd have already made some money make sure you subscribe make sure you subscribe uh hit that thumbs up and hit that bell notification because a lot of times I'm just sitting around the house uh, relaxing or trying to relax. So, you know, I pull up my phone. I look at the crypto market and I see something. I'm like, you know what? This might be an opportunity for somebody who wants to get in. And I'll make a video on it. Okay, so uh, and you could have took advantage of that. So let me go back here and I'm looking at their Twitter. I actually was already on their Twitter this morning. Look what I found. Remember when I was talking about uh, pretty soon. Hold on, is this Velodrome? Okay, this is Velodrome. Let me go to Arrow. I'll tell you, I'll tell you something about... Uh, let's go to Arrow. <clears throat> oh, Arrow Space. Hold on, let's go to Aerodrome. Okay. Uh, 
there. Uh, look at this. Look at this uh, pop shot that Aerodrome is taking a Uniswap. Remember I was telling you guys that uh, Uniswap right now is still the king of DEXs as far as it goes with uh, how many people use their platform. But I know that this, this development team is going for them. Coinbase is going for Uniswap. They're going to be, I'm calling now, they're going to be the king of the uh, DEXs with all of the things they're working on with, uh, with all of the... Uh, let me see. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I think they're sharing the same thing. I think they're sharing sharing the post. Uh, let's go to their Twitter. Now I'm on Aerodrome. When I go to here, Aerodrome. Yeah, yeah. And if this, if I mean, I guess you guys already see right now that yes, they share a platform. These two, not platform, they share developers. Cause look at them, they share one another stuff. So this. This right here alone uh, applies to both Aerodrome and Velodrome. But for, uh, what they posted is on Uniswap, as volumes drop on weekends, which they sh they do most of the time, so do your rewards. On Velodrome, the same consistent stream of rewards flows on the high volume days and the low volume days. And opting for fees on high volume days is easy as unstaking your position. Try it out. They're giving you the playbook on how to make money. And they're basically taking a pop shot at um they're taking a pop shot at Uniswap. They're coming for Uniswap's head. They're coming for Uniswap's head. But what I want you to see is just how Aerodrome shared that. They shared that. They're the same developer. They want both platforms to win. And if you ask me, they're both going to win. They're going to win. So I don't know how much more convincing you guys need, but Aerodrome is a great investment, but so is uh, Velodrome as well. So we look here, and is this is this the breakout? Is this the breakout? Uh, one way we can try to see is let's look at the whole overall market. The market is up 2.43%. Uh the fear and greed index is around a 75, which ain't bad at all. I think that's that's great because that lets you know there's a lot of uh, deals out here to be had still. Uh, sometime this week, though, I look for this uh, fear and greed to, to, to reach the probably 85, probably 85 uh, on the greed index because people are going to start piling back into uh, the aerodromes and the uh, velodromes. But... Right now, they're going to pile back in. They're definitely going to go back into uh, Aerodrome because it goes back to those dopamines we talked about. Everybody liked to see their uh, their bag going up, including me. I was looking at it this morning. I'm like, wow, I'm up another $1,000 uh, in um, an Aerodrome just with, just with this pump. So uh, is it too late for you? You be the judge. I don't think so, though. But a good time to buy would have been last night. It definitely would have been last night around this this time right here. What's the day? The seventh. Uh, yeah. So you could have you could have picked up Aerodrome yesterday as low as a dollar thirty six. That's how you make money. You could have picked it up as low as a dollar thirty six. Here's what you could have did if you had a hundred dollars. You could have took a hundred dollars, got you a nice little bag at a dollar 36 and here soon you're going to flip that you're going to flip that and make more money and uh man and then if you really want to play the uh the up and down game you could take that money wait for it to drop a little bit go in and buy a little bit more i don't really do that i don't do that i like to buy hold make my money take my money and and move on i don't i don't day trade like that uh, I, I tried it. It's just not for me. It's not for me. It takes a lot of time, and I don't feel like uh, watching it like that. I'm more so of a, a research investor. I like to research, find good projects, especially like uh, Aerodrome Finance. I'm so glad I, I have this project, and I'm going to hold it. And I believe this is going to be one of those long-term 
holds that you can hold and just uh, hold on to and uh, generate some long-term wealth. I really, really, really do. I, I remember I said at one point this could uh I I, I feel like it's a ten dollars is a is gonna be easy for this project, but now fifteen, fifteen, sixteen, uh it's going to go above that. Especially with the campaign, it seems like they they're running to dethrone uh Uniswap. We're looking at we we're, we're watching something now that a lot of people are gonna wish that they got in. So you guys let me know, uh, are you happy you're, you're up? Are you happy you're up? Are you satisfied with your bags? Uh, if you don't have any uh, and you're brave enough to let me know, <laughs> let me know. No, it's, it's perfectly fine. This is not financial advice. Uh, some some investments not for everybody. But I think we're all here to make money, and this is... Uh, um, this is a money making opportunity, and it, and there's many more out there. But this is one that you you're getting in early, and you can seriously. It's almost like for for a new investor, you this this right here, is a, a no brainer, not financial advice. All right, guys, catch you on the next one. Peace.